Hey guys, it's Dr. Dave, and in your first aid under disorder of galactose metabolism, uh, there's a section that talks about sorbitol. So what it states is that an alternative method of trapping glucose in the cell is to convert it into sorbitol. So the reason why this occurs is that certain tissues, such as the, the lens of the eyes, need sorbitol. It needs sorbitol to create a more viscous material in order for the lens of the eye to function. So what happens though is if you have too much glucose it's going to be turned into sorbitol and there's going to be an insufficient second enzyme which is going to get rid of the sorbitol which is going to turn it into fructose so that it can enter another pathway so what happens is you have an increase of glucose which gets turned into sorbitol by aldose reductase in the sorbitol Sorbitol then encounters a second enzyme called sorbitol dehydrogenase, and that's turned in the fructose. So tissues such as the lens of the eyes, the ovaries, um, they have, they don't have a, a lot of this sorbitol dehydrogenase. So when you have an elevated blood glucose for a long, for like a long amount of time, you're going to have an increase in the amount of sorbitol. Sorbitol is another osmotic agent and it's going to attract in H2O into the cells and the cell is going to swell and it's going to cause cataracts, say, in the lens of the eyes. So, so that's why um, on your boards you may see a question talking about a diabetic person who has elevated levels of glucose or they may be talking about cataracts in an older person and you want to start thinking about this, this pathway right here. So. Um, other, other places, other tissues other than the lens where, where this can occur, this can also occur in the Schwann cells, um, which you know are involved with um, if they get, if there's an increase in sorbitol there and they dysfunction, you can have a peripheral neuropathy. Um, it's also involved in the retina and if you have um, an increase in glucose there, you can cause a, ret a retinopathy. So basically this is all due to um, chronically elevated glucose all right so i just wanted to go over that real quick i hope that helps um, remember the two big ends the big enzyme to remember is the sorbitol dehydrogenase you have an insufficient amount of sorbitol dehydrogenase in the lens schwann cells and the retina so you have this increase of this osmotic um, osmotic metabolite sorbitol, which is going to cause H2O to come into the cells and damage them, causing, causing things like cataracts, retinopathy, and peripheral neuropathy in those cells with insufficient amount of sorbitol dehydrogenase.